What's up, Internet? Welcome to Nerd Finance. My name's Ian Bloom. I'm your resident financial life planner and huge nerd. And today we're going to be talking about challenges through the lens of Monster Hunter World. You see, challenges are these things that tend to present themselves as more difficult the better that you get at life or at the game of Monster Hunter. So let's tackle a lot of the similarities to make this topic a little more digestible. Full disclosure, the reason I wanted to cover Monster Hunter today is because I'm really excited about the Iceborne expansion, so bear with me as I fanboy a bit. To start off with, what makes this similar to this? Well, fighting a dragon and going to the DMV might not seem very similar at face value, but as it turns out, they're both challenges that you face in the middle of Monster Hunter or the middle of life. See, these are some things that aren't options for quests or challenges that are presented to you early on, but do occur later on and are barriers that you need to pass in order to progress. So we've established that both Monster Hunter and the real world ease you into things. They don't just throw the most difficult challenges that you can have at you, like the exercise and patience that it really takes to go to the DMV on a busy day. But what they do give you later on is better tools to accomplish things. For instance, with the DMV, you get more and more patience built into yourself as you get older and realize that things do tend to take time. And to fight the dragon, you might have better weapons or armor or at least better skills at dodging some of the incredible attacks that a Rathalos will throw at you. It's also worth noting that you tend to get better rewards later in the game and later in life for accomplishing some of these more difficult challenges. With the DMV example, the first time you go to the DMV, you walk out with a driver's license for the first time, and that means that you're able to drive a car, which is an awesome freedom to have. And then on top of that, if you kill a dragon, you get cool swords and armor, so who can argue with that, right? Finally, it's also something worth bringing up that both systems make the game easier to play in multiplayer mode. Real life as a game is way easier if you have good friends or a significant other to help support you, and Monster Hunter is the same way. <laughs> if you can party up to take down the big boss, it is a lot easier to do so. Teamwork makes the dream work and all of those sorts of cliches. <laughs> so to wrap up, you're probably asking, well, Ian, I get that Monster Hunter World and challenges are very similar, but what does this have to do with financial planning? Well, a lot of times that you encounter a financial obstacle, you need a new skill or knowledge or a new tool to tackle that obstacle with. And getting knowledge from your peers and professionals who know about this situation is one of the primary ways to level up and tackle these things. So it's very applicable. <laughs> I hope that this video was enjoyable and I hope that the Monster Hunter analogies didn't throw things too off the rails for you. If you have questions, post them down below and make sure to like and subscribe to get more of this cool content. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you soon.